All right, I have a product here which is very different from types of products I've reviewed previously. It's actually a fabric steamer. So it's kind of, if you don't know what it is, basically it serves the same purpose as an iron, except you don't iron it in the same way. You don't press it down, you don't have to have, to have it on a flat, great big flat surface, things like that. Basically, it steam comes out the tip and that, that hot steam unwrinkles fabric and it does work very well but let me just tell you about the specs what it does and i will then show you what comes in the box what's included then i'll show you each of the bits closer up tell you how you use it etc and then i'll give you my opinion on it at the end it's a dax hub mini handheld fabric steamer so it is mini so the primary purpose of this is to say maybe take on holiday with you and you, if you don't have much room much space it's nice and small nice and compact or one of the things i think this is really good for is if you're a businessman or a salesman you can take this with you nice and small and compact then before you go to your meeting or whatever you can quickly get this out it takes just a couple minutes and then you can quickly give your shirt or your tie a quick steam and de-wrinkle it before you go to your business meeting or sales pitch whatever it might be so it has a 110 milliliter water tank so it's very small so you won't be able to really do huge uh, items with this before it runs out so it is to be portable and do pretty much smaller things like it like quickly de-wrinkle your shirt before a meeting or your tie it's not really to do huge items because it's to be a portable little accessory to take on holiday or to meet before a meeting or whatever so it will run out pretty quick its tank so bear that in mind if you're looking at this for something that's really portable and compact to take with you on holiday or business or sales meeting then this is perfect but if you're using this at home especially if you want to use it on bigger items then you might find it a little frustrating because it runs out really quickly and you then have to empty the hot water wait for it to cool down a little bit then pour in some new water make sure you empty it first and let it cool down a bit before you refill it after use because if you have hot water in there and you put cold water in it could splash out and could be quite dangerous and it tells you that in the leaflet that comes in the box its dimensions are 26 by 20 by 12 and it weighs 0 0.65 kilograms it's set up for standard uk power so it's 220 to 240 volt 50 to 60 hertz 600 watt and it has a three prong UK end on it. You can't take the cable off. It's not detachable from the unit. So bear that in mind, you can't replace the cable, but it does have a standard UK plug and it has 12 months of warranty included. And it costs about 24 pounds in the UK. I'm not sure if you can get uh, one with a different end, power end in America or not, but in the UK anyway, it's 23.96. This is something that might take a bit of getting used to. When you say uh, painting a wall, when you're painting, like painting a wall or whatever, you paint from top to bottom. It's recommended with this, and I'm not sure why, but it is recommended. You actually steam your fabric from bottom to top, which is a little different than you might expect, unless you're used to these type of things. So just bear that in mind. It's recommended you use this from the bottom of your fabric and work your way up, not vice versa. Now, an item I will show you it used on. I'm going to show you it used on a, a kind of a uh, quilt thing, quilt cover thing. Now the quilt cover hasn't been used in a long time, it hasn't been ironed in a long time, it's been kept in storage, folded and wrinkled for a long time, but it did a good job. It had, it had one particularly bad, really deep, thick crease in the middle and it came out really, really, really easily with this. I was quite impressed by how well it took out the really big crease. It comes in three colours. There is this one with a green top and a green rim. A green kind of line across the top there on the neck or you can get one which is pink or a blue one I actually even though normally my favorite color is either blue or purple I actually really like this green this kind of bright green actually looks really nice as you can see at the moment it has a brush on top of its nozzle that is detachable and when you're steaming you actually have that off then you can put it on to kind of give it a brush down but it does come with a detachable brush on top. It also comes with a 
kind of a velvety feeling soft pouch to put the thing in when you're not using it and that will help with portability so you don't have to put it in this big box and take it with you you can put it in a little pouch which is included free and that's about all it comes with it there is the detachable brush that goes on the top of the nozzle and there is an actual carry pouch which is really handy and of course a little leaflet now let's have a quick look at the leaflet. I'm not actually going to show you it on camera because it's just a standard leaflet, but just want to tell you a bit about what it says. Basically, it's never, of course, like most products that use water, never fill the tank higher than its marking. So it does have a little gauge inside to show you the maximum fill level. Don't overfill it. Make sure you don't overfill it. Also for safety, don't actually fill this device up when the power cord is plugged in because you could end up electrocuting yourself. That's pretty common sense though. Allow the steamer to cool for at least five minutes before you refill it again for safety. Use the steamer only in an up or down vertical motion. Never steam with it kind of tilted backwards or horizontal. Keep it pretty straight vertically. In case I didn't mention it by the way, the model number is ST hyphen zero six zero one when you before you pack this away before you store it once you finish using it once you finish your session make sure you empty the water out don't leave the water in because it could damage it if it get if it sort of gets tilted and gets in the wrong place or because you know basically anything left moist is not good so don't leave it with water in empty it take the accessories off and then put it away okay now on the neck there is a little symbol of a padlock that is unlocked and to the right of it a padlock closed and locked. Now when it's on like it is at the moment the nozzle it is there's a little arrow on the actual top that comes off the nozzle with an arrow pointing down and that will be pointing at the closed lock. So you turn it so that its arrow pointing down is in line with the unlocked symbol and then you pull the top off then you can fill it. Then when you want to fill it back, uh, put the top back on, you line up the arrow pointing down with the open lock, turn it right so the arrow is pointing to the lock, that uh, which is closed, then it will be locked and ready to use, and vice versa. The on and off button is here on the actual handle. Just clicks up for on, clicks down to turn it off, and there is a O, uh, O and a 1 or an I and an O which is pretty standard on products I'm sure you know what I mean. You can see the water level here with a see-through little window there's a little see-through patch there I'm sure you can see it on camera I think you can so you can sort of gauge a bit how much water is left. There you can now see that I first took off the brush, now I've taken off the actual top. It just turned, kind of turned clockwise to open it. Now you can use something like a cup or I would recommend a small measuring jug and put the water into the measuring jug, then just pour it into the top and make sure you don't overfill it. Now the strange thing is, I will mention, you shouldn't fill this from straight under the tap. They say that in the manual. However, on the pictures on the box, on the side of the box showing how to use it, they actually, the example they give is somebody holding it under a tap. So that's a little strange, but I would just stick with the safest route and keep it level on a table or desk here, then fill it from something like a cup or a measuring jug. There's on and off switch. There's the inside. Not sure where you can see it, there's a little dark hum holding it. There's your little window to see how much water is left. As you can see, the power cord is not detachable, it is stuck onto this, but most products are like that, so I don't think that's a big issue. There you can see is the unlock symbol and the locked. Now when the arrow pointing down on the nozzle I've taken off is lined up with the unlock, you can take it off. Then when you want to put it back on, you line it up with that again, but then turn it anti-clockwise and it should be lined with a lock to show it's closed.
Okay, so it's very, actually very straightforward to use, just it hasn't got a very large capacity water tank, so it does run out very quick. So if you're actually wanting to use this on a bigger garment, such as say a woman using on a big long dress, then it might run out a bit too quick before you can finish. But if you want to use this on smaller items, such as a shirt, a tie, a smaller dress, then it's going to be fine. And now that isn't a huge bad point because this is not, like I have to, I just want to emphasize this, this is not to be used on a regular basis at home trying to do huge garments. That is not the point. This is portable mini to take with you, mostly at a pinch. So you know like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to a business meeting or a sales pitch or whatever. You can bring this with you to the hotel and quickly decrease your tie, etc. Uh, also probably be quite good for holidays, vacations, etc. If you are going to want to use this quite a lot, either on bigger garments or on a regular basis at home, you might want to be better off looking at something with a larger tank. But for the purpose that this is intended for, which is like I say, things like holidays, this is really great. Nice, small and compact with a pouch included to take with you. It's really good and it works very, very well, even on big creases. So I really, really recommend this as a portable steamer. In fact, it is more convenient than taking an iron with you because even if you're going somewhere where you know you can iron, say you go into a hotel room and you know you've got a large space to do it, this is actually still a bit quicker and easier and more convenient than using an iron anyway. So definitely if you're going anywhere, uh, a business trip, holiday, whatever, even if you have an iron, you might be better off taking this with you. I think it's more convenient. Just before we wrap up here, here is the pouch. Not sure where you can see it. Uh, I'm not sure what colour it looks like it is, but it is actually grey. So you can get it from Amazon. I will put a link in the description along with this video on YouTube to the Amazon product page. It costs about £24.23.96 in the UK. Definitely worth it if you need a portable iron or steamer. This is going to be very useful, it's nice and portable and really gets the job done. Like I say, just for any bigger use or general use at home, I'd recommend getting a product with a bigger tank. But for the use that this is intended for, which is to be portable and mini, great, really like it. You know, in fact, I was very impressed by how it works. So a link will be in the description. Please like and comment on this video. And if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as it just takes a few seconds and help me out a lot. Also, if you're watching this on Amazon, if this is a review on the Amazon page, please hit the useful or helpful button. That will help me out a lot too. Thanks for watching.